I'm Charles Cacal, Professor of Astrobiology at the University of Edinburgh, and here we are in our Astrobiology lab. So you might be wondering, what is astrobiology? It's a field that's concerned with the origin, evolution of life, and the possibility of life uh, beyond the Earth. And in this lab, we study microbes or life in extreme environments to try and understand whether other planets could have life. From this, we can learn useful things about the limits of our own biosphere and how it may even be affected by human caused changes in the future. Astrobiology is very much connected with space missions, the International Space Station. Uh, we're involved here in Mars missions as well uh, and other planetary missions to explore the outer reaches of space. So astrobiology is a very diverse field and we can do all sorts of different experiments and research. So now I'd like to uh, introduce you to some of the members of my lab working on different projects in astrobiology and they're going to tell you about the research they're doing and how it advances our understanding of astrobiology. I'm a postdoc here in the Astrobiology Group at Edinburgh University. My research uh, revolves around thinking about the conditions for habitability in the solar system. So I'm very interested uh, in Mars and a little bit in icy moons. And what we do here is we simulate the different conditions uh, in these environments. So for example, the pressure, the temperature, um, what kind of minerals are around, what kind of salts are around, uh, and by combining those we investigate whether living things can survive there, whether they can grow there, um, and therefore try and understand whether they are habitable uh, or not. So I came to astrobiology from a physics background and an engineering background, um, and then from my degrees I did a PhD in planetary science which involved designing and helping to build an instrument uh, which is now on a spacecraft. My name is Annemiek Weyen. I'm a PhD student here at the UK Centre for Astrobiology and um, I have a background in microbiology. Um, currently I am working on an astrobiology project uh, where I look at a specific meteorite, this meteorite. It's a meteorite that um, has a lot of carbon in it. Um, and I'm looking at the carbon compounds in this meteorite and whether microorganisms can use this as a food source. So this is interesting um, if you look at, if you think about early Earth. And in early Earth, there was a lot of meteoritic material accumulating on the surface of the Earth, um, which microorganisms, as they just started to evolve, could have used as a food source. I'm Prats and I'm working as an engineer f uh, with the UKCA uh, and helping out with developing technology to detect habitability, like this water activity sensor right here. So last year in 2018, um, I went down with, Ma uh, with Charles to uh, Bowlby Mine for Mine R5, uh, where we actually took this instrument, water, act water activity instrument, which was developed in the lab and tested and characterized in uh, conditions where, which was similar to the mine and actually took this down and in integrated it with a rover of, with Lulia University um, to, to simulate a planetary exploratory mission where the rover was deploying this instrument and testing it in real life conditions in the mine, which is really cool. I am Sean McMahon. I am a postdoc in Charles Cockell's astrobiology group in the University of Edinburgh. My research is about the fossil record of microorganisms that live 
deep underground, which provide some kind of a analogy for the kinds of ecosystems that some people think may be able to survive on Mars, even down to the present day. We are here to collect some samples of basalt, which is a volcanic rock, which I'm interested in using for my experiments as a substrate for growing microbial communities on and inside of. And the idea is to try to reproduce in the laboratory some of the mineralized, fossilized microorganisms that we seem to find in some volcanic rocks uh, in nature. Uh, I got into astrobiology by doing, first of all, an earth sciences degree um, and specializing in paleontology and working my way towards the earliest fossil record on earth and thinking about how life began on earth. And there's a very easy segue between thinking about the conditions on the early earth, how life began, the earliest fossil record, and thinking about how you would go about looking for traces of ancient life, particularly on Mars, uh, but other planets in general. Astrobiology, the study of the origin, evolution, distribution of life in the universe. Uh, one of the most fascinating areas of science, and of course the science that addresses a question of interest to all of us, is there life elsewhere in the universe? Uh -huh. 